everyone, it's Allie here. Are you ready for spring yet? I sure am. Today's video is all about how to create this makeup look, and it's all inspired by the spring colors and feelings and bright happiness that comes with this lovely time of year. I love adding some spring statements to my everyday makeup, and so that's what you're seeing today. Now, next week, I'm going to have a couple more videos out all about my spring hair, and then bringing it all together with one big OOTD for spring video where I'm going to share seven looks with you doing this sort of a makeup look and the hairstyles that you'll see in the next videos and bringing it all together to show you my favorite looks for spring and what I'm loving right now as far as trends go and how to transition your clothing from spring and then into summer because it's on its way even though it might not be that way right now. So if you want to see how to create this makeup look, then just keep watching. Woohoo! Empty face, clean and ready to go. Now check out that new background. I'm loving it. I'm taking Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation in 110 and 115. Got a little too much there. Blending it together on the back of my hand and then spreading it all over my face. Um, I just use my fingers because, hey, it's springtime, and does it have to be perfect? Nope, it doesn't. So this is a great natural finish foundation. And now we're going in to conceal those dark circles with a Brightening Peach Concealer by Pixi. Pixi is becoming one of my favorite drugstore-ish brands at the moment. I have another product from Pixi in this tutorial that I'll show you here in a second. And then I have my L'Oreal CC Lift um, concealer there that I'm blending into my nose and under eyes, getting them all nice and brightened. And then we're going to set those under eyes with my Maybelline Dream Matte powder. I love this powder, just gotten, and I'm in love. And that's doing so with my tapered blending, tapered br blush brush. Blah. <laughs> now I'm going to do some cream highlighting with my Wet n Wild Take on the Day Shimmer Eyeshadow Primer as a highlight. What? If you've been following my videos the past couple times, you will have already seen this in action. It's pretty awesome. I love it. And blending that out with my fingers so I get exactly where I want it to go. And then we're just going to go ahead and blend all the um, cream products together with my Dream Matte Powder. Set it all, make it all look nice and pretty. Alright, now moving on to eyes. We are going to use the Milani Eye and Brow Dual Pencil. This stuff is awesome. One end there is a cream matte shade and the other end is Luminous Lift, which is like a, um, basically a shimmery cream shade, but it's not like glitter. It's more of just a nice sheen. So I'm using the matte side to carve out my eyebrows, get them all ready for my Pencil, which I'm using again, Pixie. It's the Natural Brow Duo. So I'm starting with the pencil here and just drawing on some deep and brownness to my eyebrows since they have no definition whatsoever. And doing that, I love this pencil. It's not too waxy, but it's not too not waxy enough or something like that. And then I'm going to take my brow gel on the other end and comb through those brows. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to the Milani pencil and I'm going to take that cream matte shade all over my eyelids to prime them and get them all nice and concealed and set ready for some powder shadow on there. And then I'm going to take the other end of it and um, which is the luminous lift and take that along my waterline, conceal the redness and also in my inner corner. I'm going to prep my under eye area for that shadow and liner and all that good stuff. This stuff is amazing. Now I'm going to take my Sephora palette I got on clearance, and I'm just going to give you guys the names so you can find things similar into your collections. So I'm starting off with a cream matte shade to go on my brow bone, and then we're going to go into a beige tone that has shimmer in it, and that's going all over the lid. I love this shade because it's not too light, it's not too dark, 
it's not too cool or too warm. It's just a great neutral eye color that will really make your eyes pop. And then I'm just going to take a bare blending brush to blend out any harsh edges before I move on into my crease color, which is a bronze, a light bronze that has lots of shimmer in it as well. And then just taking that little bit of it at a time with windshield wiper motions, just blending that into the crease. I'm not going to do a lot at a time because that's where you'll have fallout and you'll have product where you don't want it. So just kind of, um, tapping off the excess product as I go. And I'm doing actually three layers of it. So it's nice and deepened um, and looks a little bit more defined. And now we're going to move on to a um, angled brush and I'm going to wet that and just put some darker chocolate brown on there. And I'm basically going to outline where I want my winged liner to go and just kind of do that brown on my lash line and bring it into a wing. That way when I use my black winged liner, it'll be a lot easier and I can just trace over those lines and fill it in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm loving this technique and it's super easy to do. So now we are going to finish off with the angled brush underneath the eyes, starting with the bronze color. Then we're going to go in with that beige color again in the middle part of my lower lash line. And now we're going to do some liquid liner. I'm loving this one from front from Laura called Front of the Line Plus. It is a super black um, pigmented liquid liner that is... Um, water resistant and unfortunately I'm almost out of it so it might not look quite as black as black but I'm I assure you it seriously is amazing all right now we're gonna tight line uh, I'm not gonna show you this because it looks a little weird but I'm tight lining can you believe it and now my first coat of mascara is there real by benefit I have a mini version that's so cute and it's perfect for my bag on the go, but I love it because it just gives me tons of volume and length. The only thing I don't love about it is it's not waterproof, so I do have another coat coming in a second. Now we're going to move on to cheeks, and I'm touring with my NYC New York Color um, Bronzer in Sunny. Everybody and their mom has this, and it's awesome, especially to contour with my light skin. So I'm doing that in the hollows of my cheeks nose and forehead. It's very light and easy breezy, not too intense. Then I finally got the Luminoso Milani blush that everyone has been talking about. Milani is finally coming to Nebraska and I'm pretty excited about it. So um, I just am using that to bring some nice peachy glow to my cheeks that will match my lips pretty well in a second. So once it's, that is done, maybe, just a really lovely glowing blush. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and blend everything out on my contouring and highlighting and blushing and just to make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere, which is pretty important if you ask me. So now we're going to go back to um, our mascara and I'm going to curl my lashes for the second time. This really gets them nice and curled and with that mascara on there they will stay curled more lo or longer during the day. And now I'm going to use my L'Oreal Butterfly Effect Waterproof Mascara. I love this stuff. It's lengthening and it doesn't give me any clumps when I use it on top of another mascara. So eyes are all done. I love the natural look. It's so pretty. Finishing off with lips, I have this kind of corally, peachy, red, um, and I'll, I'll list some similar products down below. This one's been discontinued, and then following it up with my favorite um, elixir at the moment, which is the Breathtaking Apricot Color by Maybelline, and that is it. So, what do you think? You think you can pull this off for spring? It is so pretty, and it's seriously super easy to do, too. Once you get the hang of it, it's just so fun. So I really hope you liked this tutorial and look. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to see the other ones coming along here in a few days. And make sure you check out the other videos for more of me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.